Jay Summers, morning, Ben. I'm here. Uh, this is a Crackle original series called The Retreat. Today, I have with me Ashley Denise and Ricky Lene, who are the showrunners for this original series. So I'm going to start off with you, Ashley. Tell me about this series. What's, what's this all about? Okay, so The Retreat is an eight-episode series. It's a suspense, thriller, mystery. Um, it focuses on four Black women in the aftermath of um, an artist's retreat for Black women. Um, the show picks up a year after the retreat where a damning secret was revealed unintentionally by a celebrity speaker. So everyone's just trying to deal with the fallout. Um, they're scrambling, they're scheming, <laughs> they're you know forming alliances and trying to you know get through <laughs> this next, uh, this new reality. Um, yeah. So Ricky, tell us where the story came from. So <laughs> the retreat actually was uh, inspired by um, Ashley and I really wanting to find an opportunity to put uh, a show together that focused and centered on Black women. And uh, with a combination of us really wanting at the time to have the opportunity to participate in an artist retreat um, so that we can continue growing as artists and working on new projects. Um, we combine that and the passion of uh, wanting to get Black women centered uh, as well as uh, finding an opportunity to um, continue to, to tell another genre uh, of like suspense, something that we haven't done before and we felt was like severely lacking um, with Black women especially centered in that in hmm, the matter of uh, how long was it? Maybe like three months or so uh, when we were kind of coming up with the, the concept of it, like it all started to come together and then uh, we were able to get an eight episode series uh, focusing on an all Black women's arts retreat. Speaking about the series, Ricky, what do you want Black women to take away from this? Oh, that is a great question, James. Um, I think it's so uh, important for Black women to see themselves represented in not, not just um, stereotypical ways, but in incredibly complex and layered ways. Um, no matter the age, no matter the physical ability, we really want Black women to see and feel inspired by the opportunity or any opportunity that you can find to create work and to tell their story and see their story uh, represented. So it's hopefully an inspiring uh, series for creators, but also just your like your everyday person who feels like the things that they're seeing on TV is not representative of who they feel they are. Um, and I feel for us, especially, we just felt like there was a, a gaping hole in um, what was being produced and wanted to fill that. Well, Ashley, I'm gonna flip the script on you. What do you want Black men to take away from this? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I think I'd like them to take away that, you know, Black women can do everything. <laughs> um, that, you know, we love our Black men. Absolutely. We love our Black men. Um, but it's nice every now and then to see the women shine. Um, and to work together to show that um, we can work together, that there's love, there's support, there's encouragement, there's inspiration. Um, but we we appreciate the men too, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, being a showrunner, Ashley and Ricky, being a showrunner myself, what is it like for you to, not only as showrunners, but to actually put this together and get it on Crackle. It's, 
I mean, it's been surreal. Um, I, I think seeing the, uh, seeing our baby grow and now being available to a wide audience of, of a diverse uh, audience. Um, I think it is, for us, it's been something we've wanted for so long um, with all of our work and, this, and the retreat, especially because of how meaningful it was creating. And like I was saying, how meaningful it can be for uh, an audience, um, a wide audience to even uh, see themselves in the and how complex and layered these characters are. Uh, it is very, very relatable. And having it on Crackle has really made us feel like we are we are in that like next step of our our you know our careers, but especially in creating a relationship with the audience, we are now getting a chance to um, share ourselves with the audience, and hopefully, hopefully, the audience enjoys what they're what we are giving. Ashley. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, like Ricky said, it's been an amazing journey. Um, we started working on this project in 2018, so half a decade later. <laughs> um, it's really nice to see it getting, um, you know, the audience and the platform that it deserves. And we've been really proud of the work um, the entire way through. And we were proud of, um, you know, the initial premiere. And we're really excited that it's going to be out for a broader audience and people who you know may not have been able to access it before and I love that it's on crackle because um, it's free with the ads so that just opens up um, the access for students for you know whoever so we're really excited about that yeah I think it's it's very interesting that you said 2018 and here it is like you said half a decade what would you say to other people who are just getting started? Because I've, I've talked to other executives, producers, and showrunners, and one of the things they tell, they, they want to convey to other people when they talk to them is, be patient. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not given to you on the silver platter. you got to work and earn it. Talk about that just a little bit, starting with you, Ricky, and then you, Ashley. Oh, uh, that is such a gem, and I'm glad you like you. I'm glad you asked that question because I think for artists, the reward, the excitement is the is the work as well, and getting a chance to share it. And those opportunities are can be very few and far between on this artistic journey, and it can be very discouraging. But if you love what you do, you will commit to it day after day and push through the rejection. And that has been something that Ashley and I have talked about <laughs> so many times over the course of the decade that we, decade plus that we've worked together. Um, and unfortunately you see a lot of people, you know, um, veer off in, in a different direction, go a different route and that's okay. You can celebrate that too. Um, but I think it, it really can prove to be so patient and really keep motivated, keep pushing and keep being passionate. Cause I think for us, especially, and I think for so many, uh, the more you do, the more you are focused, uh, it may not happen right now, but it will sure come in the time it's supposed to. Ashley? Uh Yes, I think Ricky hit the nail on the head. Um, I would just that idea of patience, the fact that it's not a sprint, it's definitely a marathon. Um, and I think having that in your mind, especially um, if you're younger, um, I know when I was in my early 20s, you had that pressure, like, I want to make this list, I want to do all of this before I'm 30, before I'm 25, <laughs> you know, and I think that it is really important to take a step back and look at the big picture and realize that if it's something you do love, um, there's no reason to rush it. Um, it's going to get better with time. 
you're going to look back at your earlier projects and say, wow, I've really grown and that's beautiful in and of itself. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that's what I think. Ashley, Denise, Ricky, Renee, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend and talking about your labor of love, the original series on Crackle called The Retreat. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much, James. James.